wanted to do in games over the years and have never really figured out the right way to handle it. Most importantly, my single favorite thing that we have not been able to do in any Vex IQ or VRC game to date is this randomized supply zone. Every single match is gonna be a little bit different. It'll have the same number of objects in here, but they're gonna be tossed in in totally different ways. So your mechanisms are gonna be able to have to adapt to changing conditions. Of course, I'm sure a couple of you were counting during the, mid the video, this is the most game objects that have ever been on a Vex IQ field in history. So you got a lot of things to do during the match. But of course, the name is the game. Some of you had it correct online. This is the first time we have had volumetric scoring where it will matter how high and how much you fill in the goal, not just how many objects you score. So, there it is. What do you think? Now, just as a, right, a reminder, the video's out, you've seen the objects. The game manual will not be released until after the conclusion of the elementary school ceremony. Gotta keep a little something in the tank for them. So, that's about all I got. Tyler and Bobby, take us home. Thanks, Grant. Congratulations once again to all teams who made it to Vex Worlds. We can't wait to see how you play full volume. Skills champions, excellence award winners, overall finalists, and world champions. Please come up to the stage for a group photo. Parents and coaches, hang back behind the referees for a few minutes until our photographers have finished. Once we're done, referees will allow everyone to come up and take their own pictures.